Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? It is Chad here with another In The OT podcast for BetHubSportsBlog.com, and today I'm going to be tackling one of the more controversial topics in the world of sports, which is, of course, what New York Post columnist Phil Mushnick had to say in his article written on Friday about the New Jersey Nets and them moving to Brooklyn, and Jay-Z, a part owner and someone who's taken a large role in the marketing side of things, as he decided to use some derogatory and what is now being perceived as racist comments towards Jay-Z and the organization. And for those of you that have not read the article yet in its entirety, I will do my best to put that link on our website. And I'm sure for those of you that haven't read it yet, you are aware of what he said by dropping the N-bomb and using a couple other four-letter words. And I will read the two main paragraphs that come from that article that really has everybody up in air. And this is exactly what he said. As long as the Nets are allowing Jay-Z to call their marketing shocks? What a shock that he chose black and white as the team's new colors to stress as the Nets explain their new quote-unquote urban home. Why not have him apply the full Jay-Z treatment? So people are thinking, well, what is this Jay-Z treatment that Muchnick has decided to come up with? Well, this is what he wrote. Why the Brooklyn Nets, when they become the New York N-bombs, the Cheerleaders can be the Brooklyn Bees, and I'm sure you know what that four-letter swear word is, or hoes. The team logo, a 9mm with the hollow tip shell castings strewn beneath. Want to be Jay-Z hip? Then go all the way. This is just absolutely absurd, Mr. Mushnick, and this is coming from someone who would like to say that he does respect you to some degree because you do like to push the envelope. You are controversial. You don't step down from what you believe in. You're not afraid of getting fired like some people who will uh, pussyfoot around with what they're saying in the media. So I've always respected you from that standpoint, but you know what? There's a fine line that's being crossed here because what you're saying here is absolutely absurd and it definitely has racial uh, tones underneath it that are completely unacceptable because of the way you uh, view Jay-Z here. Now, I understand that he's a minority owner with the Nets, and he probably is more recognizable to most people that follow the sport of basketball than the Russian billionaire Mikhail Pokorov. And there's probably a reason why Pokorov gave him a percentage of the team, because he understands the business importance that he'll have on the organization, getting a lot of the youth to maybe follow this team and some of that younger demographic that's into the urban side of things and the hip-hop, which is smart, because that is a large percentage of the people that are into the NBA these days. But you know what? That doesn't mean that you have to go out there and completely demean the man and make an entire mockery out of what he's trying to do here with the marketing. I don't see anything wrong with going out there and having a shirt that has a little bit of black and white colors to it. Does that mean that they have to go all out and say that there's going to be a 9 millimeter hollow tip on there and that he has to use words like bitches and the N-word? That is just completely unacceptable. How do you figure that because there's black and white coloring on there that and all of a sudden that it needs to have the full Jay-Z treatment. I mean, you could have been poker off and come up with that idea as well. And it's absolutely absurd to think that just because he's had some lyrics, they're a little bit uh, derogatory and maybe don't come across as sending the best messages out there that, um, you know, the rest of the organization has to fall under those exact, uh, you know, ways that his lyrics are. I mean, his music is completely different than the business side of what goes on uh, with the basketball side of things. And even if they were somewhat associated together, that doesn't mean that it has to be the exact same message. It's absolutely appalling for him to come out and say something like that. And, uh, you know, I love hip-hop music myself. I'm not a huge Jay-Z fan by any stretch of the imagination. I respect what he does. You know, I'm more into underground hip-hop with lyrics that have deeper meaning. I'm not necessarily a fan of his messages and what he's saying, but that being said, I will always respect him for his talents and what he's accomplished, and even if I disagree with the logo that he's trying to put up for the uh, Brooklyn Nets, that doesn't mean that I would go out and and call him all these words like this. I mean, this is just absolutely absurd. I mean, I I just don't understand where Mushnick's coming across here, and for him to think that it's absurd that there's someone that is a co-owner of a team or a very small minority that Tad Lee lyrics that don't send across the right messages, well then where are all of his other articles about owners who have been involved with things that don't necessarily send the best messages 
across the society. I mean, you can look at any single owner in the NBA, and I'm sure there's been some sort of controversial thing they've been involved with in their lifetime. Maybe it's not as uh, out there in terms of a lyric that might be saying something like that, but I'm sure these billionaires have pushed some boundaries to get to the financial success they've had, whether it's insider trading or screwing people over in business deals or getting divorced and abusing their wives and neglecting children or whatever it may be. There's no exact sense. Uh, you know, story or sample that I can bring right to the forefront right now. But I'm sure there's been many owners that have done things that are not the greatest. They're just not as public in terms of being out there for people to know about it. So that's why it's absurd if he wants to just specifically pinpoint Jay-Z and to think that he's turning this into this huge urban thing. And maybe that's the direction they want to go. Is it fair to say that everybody involved, including Jay-Z, is a villain and a bad guy and he lives this terrible life and you want to try to demean him like that? Holy smokes. Smokes is this mushnik guy out of his mind. I understand that he wants to stir the pot. I understand he wants a reaction and that he wants to actually go out there and get that wow factor. Well, you've accomplished that, but at what cost? Do you want to be known as a big fucking moron? Excuse my language, because that's what you are, mushnik. And I understand a lot of people want him fired out there. I, I don't know if that's the right decision. Maybe suspended or maybe some sort of apology. Who really knows? Apologies are fake anyway, so what does that mean? I don't own the newspaper. They probably probably wanted to sell a couple more papers they accomplished that so I don't know what to say I mean if I ever owned a media company I would be very liberal and allow most of the people that worked under me to say what they want but these are the type of things that really are just going over the top and unacceptable that's my take on everything here Chad here with another in the OT podcast for bedhubsportsblog.com keep checking it out as I continue to break down some of these controversial things that maybe some other uh, websites and media personalities don't want to have their opinions associated to